Hi there everybody, thanks for joining me today. It's Halsey from Slim and Stylish and I'm a UK Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator. Today I have this amazing card for you. I love it, I got inspiration from someone who'd done it as a scrapbooking idea and I quite liked how simple it was yet how elegant it looked. So I've put it together and I'm going to show you now how to do it. So first of all, you will need a piece of Whisper White cardstock. This is an A4 sheet cut in half to make a tent fold card and you just need your stamp and trimmer. Put it in and you want to score it at 14 and 9 centimetres or 5 and 7 eighths of an inch. And then fold and burnish that. Ooh, bone folder. There it is. Hiding under the card. I knew I had everything today. I checked before I started. So there's your tent fold card ready to get started. You then need a piece of Whisper White that is three and seven eighths by two and three quarters. And then you want a piece of black card which is two and seven eighths by just over four inches so that it just sits like that. You also want to use the Amazing You Celebration set which comes with three dies. So it comes with a Celebrate die, it comes with the You die and it comes with the Amazing die and you want the Amazing one for today's project. And you just want to use some basic black and just run that through the Big Shot. I've already done it because my Big Shot station, I can't film unfortunately. I can't work out how to get my camera over there. So that's over that way and I've already run that through. Okay, so what you want to do is you just want to use your black piece of paper, cardstock. And just grab a pencil. Okay, roughly where you're going to put your black and just draw in the two corners either side. So you can make sure that when you stamp, you're covering those corners and you know where you're positioning and everything. I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of paper because I am going to be stamping off the paper and I don't want to ruin my grid paper. Some memento ink. Get that inked up. This is the flower from the Amazing You Celebration set. So if you spend £45, you get the stamp set free. If you spend £90, you get the dies free. And if you spend £135, you get both free. It's only till the end of March, though, so if you do like them, get purchasing. I'm just going to stamp that over on the corner like that so I can still see that my corner was there. And then just put another one on there like that and then you want to do exactly the same on the other side so you want to go just over where the corner is which is there just go that way and put another one in just there and then what I'm going to do just as an extra there's my, I don't know if you can see it, there's my corner of my black piece of paper just there. So just here, I'm going to off stamp a stamp, it won't matter because you won't see that it is covering the other two stamps. You won't see that that overlaps. When you put that on, that's all you're going to see. Okay, am I going to do one there? I did two before, now I'm going to leave it. Am I? I might put one on. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I can never keep them the same. I don't know why. So what you want to do is you just want to grab your Stampin' Blends. And I've got the Daffodil Delight, the dark one, the Ivory, the light pumpkin pie, and both Calypso Corals. And you start on the inside with the yellow. yellow that's very technical isn't it <laughs> daffodil delight you just do that on all of them 
try and make this as quick as possible. I know it's boring when you have to watch the same bits being coloured over. I wish I could work out how to speed up certain parts of my videos. I haven't got the hang of that yet. I can speed it all up and put music over the top of it. But I can't speed just a certain part and I have no idea why. So you're just moving the ivory over the top of the Daffodil Delight. Going outwards. Okay. Once you've done that, you want your dark Calypso coral, which you're going to use to add your details in. So your details on this stamp set are great because they're already given to you. You've already inked those on, those are the lines here. So if you just follow that along with the dark. A few dots into the background. I know that this is only going to show from here, so there's no point me colouring all of it in. I normally do. I normally don't pay attention to where the lines are, and I colour it all in because I think that using the blends is, is great fun. It helps my day. There's nothing worse than being at work all day. A horrible day. But then you come home and you start playing with your blends, and it just makes everything seem seem happier or I like my colour in anyway I think it's nice there we go and that just do that on those ones over here as well probably for the purpose of a video it was a good job I didn't put a third flower over in this corner as well because I'd have been here all day and you'd have been watching me thinking, what's she playing at? But there we go. Right, once you've done that, you've given it some, some depths with those. You just want your pumpkin pie next. Go over that with your pumpkin pie. You want to just overlap the ivory a little bit so that in some parts it looks pale and other parts it doesn't. Flowers aren't perfectly coloured, you know, they've got some weather in them. There we go. And then grab your light Calypso coral and run that over the rest of the card. I'm going to colour all that in because I just, I know you're not going to see it, but I will know it's not coloured in and I won't like it. Is that really strange? But I want it all. Same over here. Okay, and then over here, when I first started doing this, I contemplated doing it with different coloured flowers, but I'm really glad I stuck with just one colour. I think it just helps it, helps it jump off the page. And this stamp set is so clever when you're doing the stamping blends, because it, it's like those paint by numbers you know you have when you're a kid. It tells you where you need to put all the colours, because it's all there in the shading detail. It's brilliant. For anyone new to blending or new to colouring, and I'm not going to say I'm an expert because I'm not, 
I hadn't done any of this until Stampin' Up! released the Stampin' Blends. Um, it's really helpful, so it's just... Doesn't matter, I've gone over the line there, no one's going to see it. Right, bring in your colour lifter, and you want to play with your colour lifter roughly around where you put the ivory, just on the main four leaves. You don't really want to hit the background. Just to give it some extra dimension onto it. Okay, now you've done that, just bring in your Tombow and your basic black cardstock that you'd already cut. And just line it up if you can still see your pencil marks. I can, mine's there. My other one's there. So just line those two up. There we go. Make sure it's stuck. Make sure it's straight before you stick it, that helps. And then you just want to stick your Whisper White on as well. What you want to do with the Amazing is you want to keep that and wait because you want to work out your, your flower placements first. So if you just keep that to the side and just stick on the white. You just want a scrap piece of Whisper White now and you want to stamp up two more of these flowers. I'm pushing really hard because I need to refill my memento and I haven't done it. <laughs> I'm being really lazy. So let's just stamp those two. Now what you want to do, I've already done one so you didn't have to sit and wait because there's two that pop out. You want to cut both of them out. So if you're a fussy cutter, this is where you turn away now because I am not good at it. Really not good at it. I don't have the patience for fussy cutting. So. Someone in my team said that if I keep the scissors and just cut using the end part of the scissor here and not the top, it's easier. I still mess it up. I just don't think I'm I'm slow enough. I'm just, I wanna get it cut. There we go. Straight round. There we are, and then you want to do the whole of the circle this time. So you've just done, that's that one, and you just want to do this one now. That's roughly it. That's as perfectionist as I get with my fussy cutting. <laughs> you want to just cut the little middle bit out of here. Like that. And don't move your scissors away because you're going to need them again. But you're best to get, get all coloured in. So if you do it exactly the same as what you've just done. Starting with the yellow. Around the edge with the ivory. Now you might wonder why I'm doing the bottom one when you can't see the middle of the bottom one and that is because I put this off centre so you do still need to do it. Bearer of bad news there, colour the whole thing in. 
makes it easier when you come to position it. Light pumpkin pie. Followed with your Calypso coral. Just I did try it with a dark pumpkin pie in it, but it just didn't didn't blend as well really, it didn't stay as, as corally, it didn't work is what I'm trying to say, I wasn't happy with it. So there we go, again just drag your colour lifter through it. And there we are, grab your scissors. And you just want to cut each petal individually. So you just want to cut down to the centre on each one. Because you're going to fold these back on themselves to make them look 3D. So do that again. And then to do that, you're just going to pull with your finger and your nail against the flower and bend it in. Okay, you only need to do it a little bit just to give it a little bit of a lift. I didn't do it on this one I did earlier. My blue Peter skills are letting me down. There we go. Then you just want a glue dot. Position the glue dot on the centre of each. flower on top. This is what I mean about offloading it. What you want to do is where you've just got the little bit here, you want to stick one over so that it looks like you've actually got three because you've got the three flowers. There go. Pick your card up and look at where you want to place both of them. I think that's about right. So there you want to grab your amazing and you want your fine tip glue pen for this. Some reason the top of my fine tip glue pen has got stuck. Okay, I'll just use it like this. It's not how it should be used. Okay, just run it around the amazing. If you've got those double sided adhesive papers. That's great because you just stick that to the cardstock before you put it through the Sizzix machine. And uh, it works brilliantly. So I'm just going to put that around about there. That's it, there's my bone folder. Just going to push that down. Okay. Then you want your Tombow. I was just going to grab for my stamping cleaner then. That wouldn't look very good on the back of my... Uh... Oh. Let's wipe that blob off onto there. Preserve the glue. So that just goes over the G and into place. And this one here is just going to sit off like that. 
Okay, you want your gold faceted gems, two of the big ones just fit perfectly in the flower. One there, one there. Of course, use Tombow, so that's not fully stuck yet. It will be. And then just one of the little baby ones in the corner up there. And that's your card. Done. Sorry it took so long with the colour in, but I just love it. I think it really pops out. And they're just cute little handy cards to have in. Of course, if you're doing them as a mass scale, they'd be dead easy to do because you just colour all the flowers and then compile it together. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you all soon. Bye.